My dad saw the movie, The Ten Commandments, and it completely changed his life, and he went into his ministry. My father was very much a part of the civil rights movement, especially, of course, uh, in the early 60s when Martin King began to, to come here. And it was incumbent upon the local black clergy to basically organize and lead the movement in any given town. Who do you go to, you know? You go to the black clergy. I was nine years old when, when MLK uh, was gunned down, about 14 blocks from my house. More so than that, the proximity of the authority figures in my life, to see them grieving so just uh, profoundly in this moment, the kind of grief that's it's not just like you know, loss of a family member. There's this other thing that, that was going on that has to do with, you know, the spiritual thing that has happened. You know, they're trying to catch their breath. They're like, my God, what is, what is going on? When I found out that it was at the Lorraine Motel, I mean, my dad would take us to the Lorraine Motel because it was a really nice pool. The public pools were pretty much segregated, right? And we would swim in that pool, and Miss Lorraine was obviously a friend of my dad's, and um, so I had memories of that place. You know, the balconies where he was shot would overlook the pool. Now, the National Civil Rights Museum is in that place, right? And the parking lot is, is over where the pool used to be. Martin King and all the civil rights activists would always stay there, and they would strategize, and people would meet there. And the songwriters from Stax Records and High Records would also go to this hotel to hang out, write songs, hang out by the pool. It was a place, by the way, where white folks and black folks could hang out together. Songs like Sitting on the Dock of the Bay were written at the Lorraine Motel. a kid, Grand Funk or Jimi Hendrix or the Jackson Five. That's what I want to play. You know, the band director said, welcome to high school. Would you like to be in the jazz band? And uh, the way he put it, you know, was just so, it's so nice. It was like I had, I had an option, you know? I said, no, sir, I really don't want to be in the jazz band. He said, well, let me put it like this. You are now in the jazz band. first day of rehearsal of the jazz band. And it was completely different from anything I had ever listened to. There comes a moment when once you've played this part that is written, now you're called upon, each of you, to play what's inside of you. You invent something in the moment. You create it right there. And, and to me, that went, whoa. When I heard that music, I was smitten. Being human is because someone created us this way. And so then we begin to explore our connections with each other. People are normally afraid of, of what's outside of their culture. Right? They're, they're, they're suspicious of it. We as musicians get to say, man, let's mix this stuff up. Humanité is about identifying that beautiful thing that draws us together and that causes us to not be afraid. The thing I respect most about my dad is he was 
always reaching out to and rubbing shoulders with and sharing life with people uh, who had no agency. I remember distinctly my dad being in the kitchen at seven something in the morning at church preparing to cook the bacon or he was gonna be doing the eggs. He wanted to be in the mix and a part of the lives of those people he was leading. But also just as a human being living in solidarity and physical proximity to those who were marginalized. What Martin King talked about the year or so before he was killed, he lifted off from civil rights, which had to do with people of color, and primarily black people. He lifted off into the, the stratosphere of the beloved community. He lifted off into the poor people's campaign. There are poor people of every color. There are more poor white people in this country by far than there are poor black people the beloved community, those who are marginalized, those who are otherized uh, globally. The only weapon that we have that can, that can vanquish the things that separate us is love. There's something all of us can do we can make beautiful art together. We can collaborate. We can empower and affirm and in ways that are insurgent, give life to and acknowledge the life of God in people from completely different cultures. And maybe humanity is about being good neighbors peeking above, as it were, the hedges of our particular faith tradition, our cultural particulars, nationalistic, all of those other things, color, skin color, race, but peeping above that to say, hey, let's, let's come over and let's play in my yard for a while.